Hello, Rick with Arizona Homesteaders. We're up in Apache County at our ranch. And as promised, this is the video. You are going to walk with me as I show and tour and inspect this property with my wife, who's not here, but will be shortly sitting on the couch. All right, let's go for a walk. This corner up here is down by, down by the lake, pond, we call it a lake, down by the pond, and right up here is the corner pin and property line for my pin is right there that blue stake okay and now we're going to follow this fence line we got some storms coming in a little bit of thunder I'm gonna walk out so I'm gonna follow the fence line about 50 feet in and the purpose we're walking this property today is a real estate agent contacted me directly and said are you interested in expanding your footprint? So there's the pond right through there. So if you can imagine, you know, take out, uh, you know, this tree here, that tree down there, this one, this one, there, there, all the way down to the pond. Now you create a beautiful open alley for livestock. Your own livestock. Right now this is being grazed and walked on uh, open range cattle. I mean, I can see their, their trail trails all throughout here. And they have footprints and trails. How about this? <laughs> they have trails that are well established when they're out um, doing their open range feeding. I mean, they're, it's, it's, it's like, a, just imagine a grocery store or a lunchbox these these cows these this cattle these ranchers come to our property because we have a source of water and every time i'm gonna i'm just gonna kind of stop and do a 360 just to get a a grasp and right there right there's the fence you can see the post okay yeah, you know, so for years, these, these, in, in, you know, decades, maybe even a century, who knows? Right up there, where that little split is, you walk through, like a bowling alley, that's where the road is. Just right up to there. Um, so yeah, there's, you know, they, they, they come here. This is their grocery store. They've... They've been coming here, they've been grazing, they've been pooping, they've been gnawing down on this grass, this prairie, and they've been adding to the ecosystem. And let me tell you something, that's freaking awesome. This looks like a, a little extension of a wash, so that's why that water's heading down that way. That's good. I 
Okay, there's the fence. So I'm on the I'm on the the far east side of the property. And now what I want to do is I'm going to start heading heading west. See look at here. Protein, food, biology. Yep, this is the back side of the property. So now what I want to do is I think I'm just a little bit, maybe a quarter of the way through. Maybe coming up on half. This here looks like a good a good area. But let's let's check this corner to see if we can find the first pin. And you know. As I was saying earlier, if I was a real estate broker actively right now showing clients uh, property, I, 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 would, I would seek to find the, the pins, each pin. If you have one that you can start with, and if you have a plat mat with you, and you have the lot dimensions, and this side here probably is about 1,200 and... 70, 1275, somewhere in there. But this will give you an idea. Of, of the property. See, they, they fenced around this tree. That's cool. That's interesting. And once you find the corners, then you can start taking some pictures, you know, three pivot pictures, northeast, southwest, get a good bearing and a reference for property lines. The other thing you can do is, if your agent doesn't realize this, or your broker you're working with doesn't realize this, in certain developments, in these lower minimum maintenance road developments and other developments um, depending on the size of the lots the roads out here in this development coincide with property lines so it's kind of cool all right and that just continues to go on This is a nice piece. It it has um, all this property up here is really interesting. It's it's a, a highly volcanic, organic volcanic rock. This is native to the area. I uh, I talked to one of the uh, soil guys, rock guys, quarry guys up here, and they use a lot of this ground up. They use it from this. They use these big ones for landscaping. Uh, the smaller stuff that you'll see that we have on our property, they use uh, really small, uh, like marble size, and uh, that's good for roads and, and fill and on different projects. But um, yeah, this is really cool country up here. I, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. So you've got some rock, you've got really fertile organic soil i don't know about this property our property we have on average between three and 36 inches of topsoil organic topsoil according to the the drill reports all right i'm gonna start heading heading this way i think i might be close to the property line so i'm gonna walk back this way and we'll kind of zigzag And just get a good feel of the lay of this land and can we use it can this property add to the overall mission and vision of our ranch and our goals another 37 acres puts us at what 70 73 74 acres 
so no no with that we can we can run our own cattle donkeys of course they're your one of your best security guards ever ever and uh, you know and, 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 and other pigs we can we can regenerate this this land the right way oh, that's kind of cool you know if this whole lot was like that you know really rocky I I don't know if I would be interested I would want it to to cash flow somehow you know another thing that you can do is you build uh, experiential Airbnb rentals out here you can create a whole community and allow people to come and learn about agriculture experience it take a vacation on the farm Come hang out with us by the campfire. Get to know you. Yeah. I like this. see the, the elevation see that green roof over there I'm probably maybe in the middle of this property next to us we will uh, we'll go to the road That will give me a really good idea of where to look for pins. Because I did my I did my homework ahead of time, and I saw that the property lines, according to the plat map, aligned very close with some other ingress and egress roads that the neighbors use, that the community uses. Oh, I bet this is windy. I apologize. This is nice. Oh, I got this on Zoom. What? Sorry about that. Gotta pay attention. This property will uh, abut or be across the street from our friends or neighbors that have horses. We'll find the furthest property line. There. I was right. I was pretty close. On a 37 acre walk 
That's pretty close. I'll take that. Okay, so right in here is going to be a, a pin. Somewhere in this, my guess is I, 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 would, I would bet, um, and I'll, you know, obviously I would, I would confirm, but uh, my guess is right here is where this property line is going to be very close within 50 feet. So, all right. Hey, thanks for walking with me today. And, uh, you know, it's really tough to, to visualize, you know, what a, what a big piece of property looks like. You can, uh, you can walk it. Uh, but what we did is we took a drone and we flew it over the top of this so that we can figure out exactly uh, based on the plat maps and based on the overhead drone footage um, where the property lines are and then what we do is we take this footage that we've walked with and we can then you know say okay well here is this this is this area and you got a, a aerial view and then you have a ground view so this one doesn't get too long. I'm at 16 minutes. I'm going to stop here, and we're going to start another one. Take care, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is Rick Borden with Arizona Homesteaders, and we're up in Apache County today.